this morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Dave Sadley on day two of Detectable. Uh, there is another podcast that we uh, published, we, we made this morning, which we published later on, uh, regarding the Mind Lab Vanquish solely, so it's a, a bit of a special for that. Uh, so, day two has been very active, lots of finds, etc., etc., and we've not stopped speaking to people. So, uh, first up today, the charity that uh, the event is, is following and helping this year is called Let's Keep Ellis Active. Is that right? Let's get Ellis active. And, yeah. and we have a, a friend of the family who's, who just wants to say a few words. And we've also got Ellis here, so he might he might have a little... No, no he's not going to speak. He, he's been a little bit shy. But, so um, I'll pass you over now. Yeah, Ellis has been a little bit shy, but we just wanted to say thank you for everybody that put you know all this together. And you guys actually were kind enough to donate some detectors, and we definitely appreciate that um, because you know every penny helps. We've been working since February to try and get him uh, walking, and after this event, I think we're going to be about halfway there, which is fantastic. Um, you know, he's been through a couple of surgeries, but he's still you know one of the happiest boys you'll ever meet, right, Ellis? We just want to say thank you. We well, really appreciate I've been- it. Keeping him obviously, he's been, act- been opposite us for the past two days, and been keeping an eye on him. And he's going round of his little, uh, little, trying to go round on his little yep, buggy, and having him play buggy, with yeah. his sisters. What what is the actual condition that Ellis is, has got that's causing him not to be able to walk? He has something called arthrogryposis, which basically, if you can see, you can see his hands are turned in and, and the legs are the same way. So what ends up happening is without the surgery, everything just turns, basically turns in is, is a good uh, description of it. So he can't walk. He has difficulty gripping things. Um, so without, uh, you know, surgery, there's just no chance of, of him walking ever. But, of course, you know, the... the you know, the rarity of the disease leads to the fact that there are very few people that actually can operate on him. And so the only person that can actually is from the United States and in Florida, which drives up the cost. So otherwise, he'd probably be walking if it was something a little more simpler or a little more common. But it's it's not. It's it's a complicated condition. So what is the actual goal that we're trying to achieve? Got to raise 100 grand. Then the surgery he'll have, he'll be walking. That's great. Well, I spoke to his mum earlier on, and, and me and Luke, we want to make this our chosen charity for the magazine as well and we're going to obviously highlight it advertise it and, and obviously try and keep people updated Alice's progress as well that's that's awesome we really appreciate it and you appreciate it even if you're being shy today i'm sure of it <laughs> nod your head if you're going to listen are you going to speak to me that's oh, a no. No. <laughs> he's a really cute little lad so uh Good luck for everything. We hope you do achieve everything. Thank you. Everything. appreciate and, everything you guys have and done. I'll be glad to see what happens in the future with, with Alice. Yeah, honestly, you guys have gone above and beyond, and we definitely appreciate literally everything you've done. So. That's fantastic. Well, someday when he's willing to talk, we'll make sure he comes and says says thank you again. Well, I think that you should be getting one of them little knock the macro mini uh, hordes, and uh, yeah. you yeah. should be going out with Daddy Metal Detecting himself when he's all right. Do you think you'll be able to go one day on Metal Detecting with Daddy? Oh, he loves it. He loves to go out there, so I'm sure he'll be doing it someday. <laughs> well, keep smiling, keep happy, and we hope everything gets gets where it should be and Alice is uh, active. Thank you, guys. Take Thank care, you. everyone. Thanks very much. So uh, we're now here with a member of uh, Team Rusis Expert Team. I forgot his last name. It's Adrian Gaylor. So Adrian Gaylor of uh, Team Rutus and also the expert and also Mr. Tony Kaywood. We're going to have a, a brief conversation about Rutus and what they do and etc. So, uh, how's the weekend been? Yeah, it's been great. Thanks, Dave. A um, bit hot. Uh, ground's quite dry. Um, not that much coming up, but everyone's had such a good time. Been really, really good time. And obviously, it's for good causes. Um, the evening entertainment was uh, fun, and the beer was good. So uh, yeah, it was a really, really good day, and uh, lots of Rutuses uh, appearing out in the field, which has been nice, um, and some finds, which we've seen have been okay, I'd say, but been quiet. So we've got Wayola and uh, I always forget how to pronounce his name, Eric. Eric, Eric here. Uh, they've been over, come over from Poland with other members of Team Rutus, and uh, I'll get a nod off them. We've had a good weekend. Of course, yes, they've yes. had a great. We've had a good weekend, but. Obviously, the uh, the English Polish barrier. We're going to talk to Team Rutus more so. So, uh, tell us a bit more about the Rutus. Um, the Rutus machine. Um, I've 
been using for just over a year now. Um, I've used many machines before, but when I got the Rutus, um, I just felt something was different with it. Uh, it was easily to use straight out of the box, but like me, I like tinkering with things, and I'm able to change all the settings, the tones, the frequencies, and it's just a machine that keeps growing and keeps giving. And obviously, um, I've since found some good finds with it. I uh, found a medieval ring a month ago, a uh, 12th, 13th century medieval ring, which I found in land that I've been over for three years with many detectors, so I was quite impressed with that. Um, but here today, we're basically having a lot of people come up to us and ask us to have a go. Uh, very impressed with not only the tones of the machine, but also the hodograph display and the visual number identification, um, and also the sound. It's, it's three, you know, signals or information which is you know quite impressed a lot of people isn't it tony absolutely well one of the things obviously listeners of the show in the all metal mode uh, podcast all metal mode uk podcast now is that i am the world's biggest technophobe and uh, we were we were supposed to be having a good uh, go with the routers this weekend to teach me i have learned a few bits yeah uh, i do know a few bit things better luke sat me down in depth i spoke to yourself i spoke to tony and I've learned quite a bit. Unfortunately, we haven't been out on the field because really haven't had time. So uh, I'm learning a bit more. So that's just to let people know that's a bit of an update on Dave in the field. So uh, <laughs> obviously, thank you for that. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, it has the basic mode. Just turn it on and go. Um, and I was using that today. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. And, you know, I think we as routers users, we talk to each other about the different settings different soil conditions we live in different parts of the country so we're able to tweak it and adjust it to how we want um and yeah really it's so well made as well um and eric is a genius the guy is so nice that one man you can talk to and physically speak to who designed it developed it wrote the software for it is there and they the version 2 update is a prime example they listened to their users um, they needed some tweaks people wanted some changes and they released a version 2 update which has got many other benefits as well well I've got to say I enjoy using it it's a mm. fantastic machine uh, it suits me obviously it, I'm just not as experienced as everyone else uh, it, it's it's a great machine it, for me the weight the, um, the balance everything's perfect so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over to Tony and uh, I'm going to talk to Tony not so much about the machine but about other bits. of. Tell me about Team Routers, Tony. Yeah, so Team Routers came to uh, being when they were looking for, um, I guess, representatives of the brand but not your sort of traditional paid uh, spokespeople but people that use the machine day in and day out. Uh, myself, uh, Adrian, Luke, Yvonne, Richard... Niall, Matt, um, the seven of us, we're all Rootless users uh, first and foremost, so when Rootless asked us if we would be interested in being part of the, of the expert team, uh, we'd bit the hand, hands off. It was, uh, why wouldn't you want to advertise a machine that you're using you know, for hours and hours every week? Well, and obviously we've had you on the Old Metal uh, Mode UK broadcast and we spoke at length in the past. Uh, we've, you've also had me texting you from in the field asking you, asking your opinion in things before as well. Yep, indeed, uh, which is great because it's, uh, you know, all of us like to uh, talk about the machine because there's so much uh, we can help with. I mean, we put um, things up on the net, there's Team Rooms have got its own website, uh, we've got an app even, uh, some people can get it to work as well sometimes, right? Um, so you can get all that and you get in touch with us as well. I had somebody contact us during the set to asking whether or not we were going to do a, a, a Rootus uh, event uh, for Rootus users, so maybe uh, next year we'll look at doing something along those lines. The, you know, the, the, I think the it's growing, uh, the interest in the machine is growing, we're people stopping us all week in the uh, weekend in the field asking about it. Some guy asked me if I was Polish, which made me laugh. Um, but yeah, it's been a great weekend and great getting out with the machine. So I was, I was actually going to ask you about the app. Uh, that can be downloaded. What information's on the app? Yeah, so it's, it's like a, a cut down version of the full website, but if you're out in the field, uh, you've got contacts information for us, you've got uh, some setting stuff on there, bios for the team, where we are, what we've been doing, some of our finds, all those sort of things. So it's uh, just a nice little one to have in your pocket because obviously you're not going to be there with your laptop in the middle of a field. Mm. And one of the things I did like, uh, obviously, you pointed me out to me, was the different users' settings, yourself settings, RX settings, mm -hmm. and I was able to actually download them 
print them out and uh, laminate them. So, you know, fantastic little bit of information there too. Yeah, well, it seemed like a good idea to share. And a lot of some of the higher-end machines, they have these weird and wacky program names and people share them, you know, like Tadpole and things like that for some of the machines. And I thought, well, actually, we've got a bunch of really experienced users with a really customizable machine. Let's see what everybody else is using. And getting Arix with a, you know, a nice little coup, the man who designed it, seeing what he runs it with. He does run in a lot of forests in Poland, though, so it's a little bit different soil conditions. I'm not sure it'd be suitable over here. But, yeah, they're collecting those together. Uh, and we'll keep adding to them as well if people have got any more that want to send in. So, obviously, if people do want more information about Routus, uh, obviously contact Routus Direct in, on the, the website, which is, uh, let me just find it, www.routus.com.pl. So, uh, more obviously, more information there. There's several Routus users' pages where they can contact mostly of yourselves and other users themselves, and uh, obviously through the app. So... Thank you very much. Absolute uh, pleasure. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Viola. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Personally, obviously, met Eric last year, but it's a pleasure to meet yourself. So, uh, obviously, we will. Any other information about the app, future machines, etc., we'll be up to date with you. We're on the Archaeology and Metal Detecting magazine, and obviously, we'll be having Rooter shows on the the new podcast too. So, Excellent. thank you all very much, Cheers. and uh, thanks, thanks, good Dave. luck with the team and good luck with Rooters. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thank so, bye. bye. Off I go on my travels uh, with Mr Higgins following me and pointing out who I'm going to talk to. In fact, I'm going to kidnap somebody for a few words. They're actually packing up the stall, but I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, I'm going to talk to a young man who owns a company called Spin a Disc. And Spin a Disc are the representatives in the UK of the Quest metal detecting magazines. Uh, metal detecting magazines? Metal detectors, sorry. Uh, obviously I'm getting tired now uh, a, a wonderful looking machine and I love their hats they are the, the best hats I've seen in metal detecting, black at the back and orange at the front um, yeah, he's going to have to turn his badge around because I forgot his name and I don't want to ask him it because I'm dead slow Carl Midgley who is a uh, proprietor of the Spinner Disc uh, Spinner Disc yeah. basically which is a metal detecting sales company that's right yeah we um, sell various brands but we distribute the Quest in the UK and we've been going for 32 years now so yeah if we need anything come to us so Quest uh, if I'm right in saying is a Chinese machine yeah they make manufactured in China and then they're distributed from Holland around Europe and that, that's Quest the that's company Quest. Quest that is Quest yeah and the, the lady from Quest over here, whose name I keep forgetting, even though I should remember is Patty. So Patty is the obviously the representative in the uh, the Europe for the for the brand, um, and it, it's a, I think she was also part of the organisation of Detector World last year. Yes. So uh, shout out for that because obviously that will be taking place next year and hopefully you'll be popping along oh, we'll there. Be there. Yes, we'll be attending. Yeah. And uh, one of the other representatives of Quest in the UK is uh, John. John, whose last name alludes me, he is the John's Metal Detecting Adventures on uh, YouTube. So you can John using the, the the Quest machine on there. So uh, John's not around, but we have organised a John come on one of the podcasts in the future because uh, second only to I think Julian Evan Hart, his stories are some of the best ones we've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You can talk a lot. <laughs> So, can you just let people know your website details so they can obviously look at the quest and yep. such like? It's uh, www.spinnerdiscmetaldetectors.com or find us on Facebook at Spinnerdisc Metal Detectors. Which I certainly will be doing. So, thank you thank for your you time and uh, hope everything's well. Patty, safe journey home. I'm not helping you put the tent up like I put. I'm not helping you pull it down like I helped pull it up because I'm too busy. So, safe travel home and good luck and everything. Um, see you in a bit, John. Take care. That's John we nearly had, but John's taking things apart. Next time. Off we go. But not, the, not this one. Hello, Nigel. I'm sorry I haven't seen you this weekend. It's lovely to see you, however. Nigel Regden's from uh, Regden. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. And the Suffolk Sifter. We, we actually, I watched one of his videos this morning, which I wish I hadn't because it wasn't the nicest of videos. The one with the flag. The flag. The ones where uh, certain people were trying to set fire to things. Yeah, well, that was out of my control. So, John, John brought highlights of something there this morning. 
Where am I now? Oh, hello, Gary Cook. How are you? Hello. I think Gary Cook. I'm going to talk to Gary Cook it's anyway. Gary in. Yeah. Who so, fine? hello, Gary. I'm fine, thanks. You? I'm, I'm knackered, mate. My voice is gone and I'm absolutely led. But I was one of the only people here who went to bed at a decent time last night. I was in bed for half nine. I don't think anyone else was asleep before two or five. Well, I made it to bed about 11. But I'm in a hotel. I don't sleep in caravans and tents. I don't do that sort of thing. Or, or sell cars like me where I make my own bed. <laughs> no, I, 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 I like a comfy bed and a hot shower. So, uh, yeah, thanks to XP, they put me up in a hotel. So, and when um, we've had perfect weather, just the city. I know you've all been busy, but obviously uh, representing XP, yes, but yeah. it's been a beautiful weekend just when you can sit down and chill out for that. Oh, yeah, well, you know, this sort of time in the afternoon, most people are still out in the fields. They're going to come back for the raffle. Um, and the XP stand has been exceptionally busy, as it always is at, at rallies. You know, every rally I've been to with Gary Blackwell, it, it, you know, the XP stand is always very busy. And um, you can tell that by Gary Blackwell sat down in his chair, look, relaxing. It's the first time he's had time to sit down all weekend, bless his heart. I'll, I'll be totally honest. Obviously, someone's blocking me view now, so I'm going to step away. That's the first time I've actually seen yeah. Gary Blackwell, A, sit down, and be look relaxed. Norm- normally, when we actually go out detecting in the fields, I'm sort of like halfway across the field and I turn around, he's usually just sat down. <laughs> he can't be bothered <laughs> when there's no one looking. <laughs> so, anyway, you go and have a chat with Gaz. Oh, well, yeah. thank you very much. No, it's been worries, great Dave. to see you yeah, again. Yeah, good to see you again. And um, take care and yeah, see you next year, mate. And look out for information about Rodney Cook 29, 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will return next year without a shadow of a doubt. We will be back next year. Bigger and better and a more bigger beast. Bigger and better. And let's raise a lot more money for, for charity. And let's try and beat this year's target of 35 grand. Going to take a lot of doing, but I'm sure we can do it. Leave it with me. Cheers. Take care, Gary. Gary Blackwell, good weekend? Absolutely fantastic. We've had a brilliant weekend. We've made new friends. We've seen old friends. It's been great. And as you said earlier, guys, you know, everyone's around the XP tent. And that's the way it's been all weekend, you know. It's a real David and Goliath situation. We, mm. we love it. So it's been brilliant. And I'd just like to thank everyone for supporting XP. Not just for this event, but for the last few years, you know. We really appreciate your support. We really appreciate you coming up, telling us about your finds and how you love the machines. So it's been a winner winner chicken dinner all weekend. It's been fantastic. It really has. Well, I've had another look and I've had another play and another fail at the ORX. Okay. And uh, I probably will be getting an ORX in the future because obviously when money allows. But uh, I definitely, it's it, for me, weight wise, obviously I've not seen what it can do, but I've heard what it can do. But weight wise, uh, I'm in love with it. Let me get my crystal ball out. Yeah, you will have an ORX. You'll definitely be using an ORX this time next year. Mate. Oh, well, when the, when the money's it. there, I definitely will. Don't Guarantee worry about it. that. Yeah. Uh, pay, pay back my car money, which I've had to get a new car after my car crash, and then we'll be, we'll be back there. So, uh, otherwise, have you had a good event, evening wise, etc.? It's been brilliant. It's been really tiring. It's been hard work, but. As always, it's been worth it. The guys at Detectorville have done a fantastic job organising everything and keeping everyone safe, you know? Mm. It's been brilliant, and we can't wait to come again next year. It's absolutely fantastic. I've got to make sure these French guys are all nicely tucked up in their taxis and back to France. <laughs> then I can get home and have a couple of days just relaxing, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, we hopefully will speak to you in the near future on the, the Big Metal Detecting podcast. We'll sort that out, and obviously you can talk at length with your Metal Texas and I'm also looking forward to going on the OARX group which I'm now a member of and, and several other groups just to see what finds have been coming up at Detectable with the with the XP range Brilliant and I'd just like to thank you guys you have done an absolutely fantastic job this weekend, super professional great fun to be around brilliant 100% fantastic well I, I can only say sorry for not being able to come and see you more because we, we've been absolutely manic with the podcast and the stalls but we've enjoyed it thoroughly uh, I've got no voice and people in work will appreciate that I think <laughs> that's standard I'm wearing dark glasses because I've burst a blood vessel in my eye because I've been so stressed and hectic look got the red eye so yeah that actually looks hangover to me <laughs> that's not hangover no way i'm the designated driver i've only had one bit so no no i always get stressed at these things so blood pressure and all that lot yeah. well gary so, blackwell yeah. it's been an absolute pleasure as ever uh, good luck for everything that's going on you know we've got the new range of uh, 
the Batman utility belt of backpacks. Uh, I hope you do well with that and obviously the rest of the range. I think next year for us is going to be a good year. We've got some really exciting products coming out. You're going to love them. We look forward to it. Thanks, Gary. And I'm going to wander off and let you sit down and continue enjoying the afternoon sunshine. Chin chin, guys. Take care. Take care, Gary. Oh, where are we going next now? I, I, I'm hoping where we are, heading towards the uh, the LP stand, so we can have a chat with LP, and hopefully there'll be several representatives of uh, Leisure Promotions. Uh, we'll also be visiting, I think we're going to visit Dilek Gonyale next. We'll be having a chat about last night's um, real, uh, launch of the uh, the Simplex, which if you haven't seen the videos, please pop along onto the Archaeology and Metal Detecting Magazine Facebook page and you will see the launch of the uh, the lovely mermaid uh, underwater with the simplex machine which was a fantastic little performance let's say uh, fantastic I mean, we got to speak to the dialect last night but they also released a second machine uh, which I know there's some out there but it looks like, well I've had a little play of it myself this morning it's a uh, children uh, four to eight nine year old a uh, metal detector called the Mini Horde. A uh, beautiful little machine, perfectly perfectly um, sized for children. You know, you, you couldn't ask. For, for me personally, my six year old son, I, I'd really like to get one of these machines because, well, he loves coming metal detecting with me, but my spare metal detectors are pretty damn large in comparison. Hi, Sid. Hey, there, buddy, you're Let's on, have mate. a quick say hello to Sid Perry. How you doing, buddy? You're on, mate. All right, mate. You having a good weekend? Awesome, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Found, found much? I well, had a hammer coin yesterday and a Roman coin today and a few little bits and bobs, so not too bad. Not too and while you're here, you may as well give a bit of promotion to your YouTube. England's history. Make sure you get subscribed. There you go. Sid Perry, <laughs> English history. With Thanks. the Simplex. With, With the, the Simplex. simplex. <laughs> Marvellous. Take care. Ambush, See you in a bit. I love ambushing people. I'm sort of going to... Uh, Ambush Dilek de- 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 now. She's talking Turkish. Yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> so Dilek. Yes. How's it going? Very well. It We've was a- yeah. It was uh, for us. It was a very successful event. Yeah. La- last night's uh, launch. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how many viewers it's had, uh, but you'll uh, you won't be surprised because it was a. It was a very novel way of introducing the, the Simplex. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we were so happy with the, uh, we had a huge, I mean, with the interest, uh, we had a huge crowd here. And I felt bad because the guys you're at the back couldn't really see the mermaid show. So I felt a little bit bad, but we were very happy with the, you know, number of people that were there to watch us. So, yeah. Well, I was very lucky, obviously, the position I was in, I was able to film the mermaid, the pirates, yourself, and the French <laughs> interpreter too. So, uh, uh-huh. you'll, you ready? You ready? We've had nearly 10,000 views of that uh, video that we put on the archaeology. Really? Oh, my yeah. God. I didn't really have time to, you know, look at... Well, I did look at Facebook yeah. and, you know, um, you know, to see what was going on. We had a lot of views on our Facebook page, too. But, yeah, 10,000. That's very good. I'm yeah, so, so happy. We, when we went back later on, we shared it to a few groups uh, uh-huh. throughout the world, that detecting groups, so people could obviously see the launch themselves. And mm-hmm. it was very successful uh, all around. Yeah, 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 we're so happy. It was, it was. Now, we, we've spoke about the Simplex already, but you also last night had the uh, the the launch of the Mini Horde, the children's yes, metal detector, which yes. I've just been discussing with listeners. Um, it's aimed at... Well, I'll let you tell them about the Mini Horde. Yeah, so the idea is, obviously, I mean, this is a great hobby, and everybody wants to share it with their loved, uh, you know, kids, children. And, uh, and we need also newcomers into the hobby. So we said, I mean, we looked at what was out there available for the kids and um, we didn't really you know, like what we have seen so far. So we said, let's come out with a good, a real, nice, waterproof, you know, kids detector so the kids can enjoy the hobby and, you know, share this great hobby with their parents. And then one day, you know, when they're grown up, still continue to enjoy it. So yeah, we're coming out in a couple of months. We have the, I mean, we have a mock-up sample here, a prototype, uh, but the electronics is all done. So it's actually a working sample. We're just gonna be waiting for the tooling to get done and we're gonna be releasing it in a couple of months, hopefully. So it's a very, very lightweight, simple to use, waterproof kids machine. And uh, I mean, the, I, are, are, we vid- like, are we on video or just, yeah, okay. Video so I wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you want me to show yeah, it? Yeah, brilliant, okay. if you could. 
Now, the machine itself, you said last night, it was uh, aimed at sort of the four to eight year old market. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, this is I ideal for kids between four to eight, nine years old. And hopefully, actually, we're going to do another version after that for kids maybe between like eight to 12. And we'll believe after 12, they can swing the simplex <laughs> easily. So, but, so it's very easy to use. And uh, it's got these nice, you know, like graphics here and those... Do you see that little like piles of sand? That's like your depth meter, basically. So it's a, it just shows you Ferris. It's a thumbs up for the non-Ferris items and a thumbs down for the Ferris items. Very easy to use on off. And this turns the iron on and off. Very simple to use, waterproof. And I think, you know, we picked a nice color for it. We wanted, we wanted it, we wanted it to be neutral for boys and girls. So. I think we're gonna go with green and everybody thinks that the color is good. Of course, it's not gonna look exactly like this green in plastic because this is paint, you know, on the markup sample. But yeah, so far, everybody everybody loves it. So I'm so happy, the feedback has been great. Well, I think I was one of the first people to speak to you after you'd uh, announced it. And, and, I, and I wasn't being biased and I wasn't lying. This is perfect for my little boy. He loves metal detecting. He wants to come metal detect with me all the time. I've only got adult machines, so it's a bit difficult for but this. Emojis basically tell you what you're doing. Uh, if you're doing good, if you're doing bad. Yeah. A little boy digging sand in the corner, and that when he digs the sand, uh -huh. one's short, two's deep, yeah. three's deeper, yeah. and it, it's perfect. It's so so simple yeah. it's, it's simpler it than it's simpler I mean, than a simple course. i mean for a five six year old kid you need something very simple yet you need a durable detector you know um because it's not a toy this is a real detector i mean there's some detectors out there i mean to me they're toys they're not like real detectors but uh yeah we're gonna make a nice little durable you know real metal detector for the kids and uh yeah and it's called mini horde i hope you guys like the name it's a great name yeah. and, and as i said to you last night i will be one of the first people to to order one of them because to get out with my son it's uh, he's, every day. Dad, when can we go out? Dad, we go. I've promised him next weekend, but he's going to be digging for me because he went well. He'll try and swing the machines, <laughs> obviously. But if he was able to come out with this, it'd be a dream come true for both of us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, my daughter is very excited about this too. So when she first saw the pulse dive, she got very excited. And I, actually, we took it with us on a vacation. But when she heard about a kids detector, yeah, she's very excited too. So she keeps asking me, you know, mommy, when is it coming out? I'm like, you have to be patient, honey. So yeah. This is now we, we've obviously all the launches of the simplex of the C Scope uh, Evo 6000 of the Vanquish. Uh -huh. I'm I'm excited about this. I'm so excited. Yeah, I, yeah. And, and I can only congratulate you thank on the company you, thank for, you. I really for coming up with it. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I mean, this detectable has been great. Uh, I think this, this at the end of the day, it really benefits the end users. And that's the most important thing. You know, we're all here to serve them, the actual users. So, uh, yeah. Thank well, you. Dilek, it's been a pleasure seeing you well, again. We don't see you each other very often. Yeah. But, um, Oh, one of the other things today, oh, I've posted some photographs both on Facebook and, and your own Facebook. Um, I can't remember. Andy, I can never remember. Andy Savish. Andy Savish, yeah. Uh, he's an American chap. He took the uh, simplex into the field earlier on. And he didn't spend much time out there, but he did come out with some fantastic finds. Yes, he did uh, find. Actually, my field tester was with him when he found them because he uh, he asked us if he could try the simplex out on the, you know, detecting fields. We said, no problem. And, you know, I sent my field tester with him, along with him. So if he had any questions about the detector, he could ask. And I don't know, within, I don't know, half an hour, 10 minutes, I don't know, like within a very short period of time, he found two Roman coins. And one of them was next to this big piece of iron and he found one of them at I believe around nine inches and the other one was around like six inches and then he came over to our stand um, you know we got them we took the Roman coins to the tent what do you call that tent over there where they like the finds liaison yeah, yeah exactly so uh, we left the coins there and then you know they registered them and everything and then he was at our stand playing with the simplex again you know just going around in front of our stand he got a signal and he was curious he dug it it was another Roman coin so it was Joe so we've actually got a Roman coin in in the uh, the showground yeah exactly <laughs> so uh I think that's a very, very successful launch yes, for the Simplex yes, then. Yes, yes, it is, it is. It has been great. Fantastic. Well, Dilek, it's been an absolute pleasure. 
uh, and I and I hope to see you sooner rather than later. Yeah, yeah, I hope to see you soon, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on one of your podcasts again. You certainly so, are. Yeah. We'll get you on and talk. <laughs> Talk a little bit more in depth about things, and yeah. I'll, I'll get somebody technical minded on with me. So I'll get Luke on with me. Okay, okay, very <laughs> Thanks, good. Thanks, Dale. Thank it's been you. a pleasure. Thank you. Have a great Take day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Luke's actually walking around now, uh, testing the uh, child's metal detector. Uh, actually, said last night uh, it's the side the kind of machine that Scotty B from North Time Metal Detecting machine, uh, would would suit perfectly. So uh, lovely little machine. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest when I say I can't wait for, for the developments to be released. So me and my little boy can spend more time together doing what we do. Uh, fantastic. So that's knock the mockro. Uh, I'm stood currently at the LP metal detecting stand. Pete's currently in uh, communication, talking to people. So we'll just, uh, just have a chat with anybody else who's knocking about. Really, who I notice. Uh, before, while well, Pete's not available, uh, the the release last night of the Mind Lab Vanquish uh, for people who haven't seen the video. Basically, the video showed a lot of medieval type things. Some three ladies on horses. Out of the smoke, out of the woods, came the lady on the horses, and uh, they come onto stage, trooped onto stage like Viking ladies do, and uh, held the machine aloft and. Uh, great little video as I've said earlier it was uh, much akin to the old uh, Lord of the Rings film the cartoony one uh, and it and also had shades of De- Detectorist season 3 so uh, yeah if I know I'm right I can actually still see the uh, if there's any water in that fish tank I might actually go and dive in it's that warm where are we now Mr Luke let's have a chat with Luke anyway uh, we're just waiting for uh, Peter Rill who I think is just about to become available but, uh, I thought yeah, you might have become a father yeah, or something he, then, <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's just given us a thumbs up so if we could uh, head into the gazebo slightly because the sun is uh, yes it's the sun's the, beating uh, down <laughs> My, I'm parched as anything I'm ready for bed and I've got to uh, still pack up and drive home so uh, LP Leisure Promotions. I've been trying to get here all weekend to do something a bit more in depth, but uh, here I am, and I'm sorry it's took us so long, Pete. It's been absolutely manic. How's the weekend been? Exactly that, manic. That's the word to take out of this weekend. But no, it's been really, really good. I, I couldn't have wished for anything better, actually. It's been great people. Fine, I've seen some good Romans, some silver hammer, but it's just a good laugh, isn't it? It's been great, and Delek's just, I was talking to Delek about uh, Andy Savage's finds early, he found the two Romans, and then come back, carried on playing in the showground and found another Roman. Yeah, literally, underneath the Nocta Macro stand, a nice little Roman, who would have thought? Fantastic, that means people are going to be all over the showground now. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm staying tonight, so I'm, I'm going to <laughs> give it a go, see what else is there. So how's the weekend been for Leisure Promotions on a whole? Yeah, really good. It's been productive, catching up with people that we don't see very often. and We've sold a few bits, but all right, we're a dealer and we like to sell things, of course, but that's not why we come. We come to catch up with people. We come for the social. That's why we've got the seats out and yeah, having a good laugh. I just need some sleep. I'm going to have to ask you... What time did you get to bed last night, Pete? Oh, last night. I was a lightweight, half two. I was an even more lightweight, half nine. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're the sensible one. No, I was. I was. We were sat in the, the mine lab um, tent, you know, with our free beer and what have you. And after two pints, I said to Luke, "Luke, I'm, we're going about the car. I really can't be bothered, mate. I need to go sleep. Yesterday was a killer, absolute grueler. So he said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'll finish me drink and I'll meet you there." What time did Luke get in this morning? Uh, same as Pete actually just after half past two about quarter three so yes <laughs> as a festival goes it is uh, festival quality when it comes to the uh, party time yeah well I'm, I'm going to point out that me and Luke are a little bit younger we are a little bit cooler we're obviously the cool kids staying out late <laughs> well, 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 tucked well, up I, at half nine can, can I just point out cool people have purple beards you, you've just got <laughs> you've just got this fuzz on your face and Luke, Luke <laughs> Luke, well, he, he's obviously the. I dap- don't know if Luke can the grow dap- one. <laughs> yeah. Luke, Luke's only about twelve. <laughs> early. I'm leaning on your. St- I'm leaning well, on one of the stands. Oh, no, leaning on one I'm, of the stands here because I'm so tired and I'm pushing it away. My legs are just done in. I've got bags under my eyes. Suitcases. A, this is a podcast. We we'll forget that bit. <laughs> this is a podcast. Bags. My legs are like jelly. But it's the same every year. We're, we're getting used to it. Yeah, worn out. 
Well, one thing myself and Luke would like to say to you, Pete, personally, is thank you. Uh, you've supported us so much with both the magazines, with the podcasts, uh, even behind the scenes when I've, I've asked you questions and you've you pointed me in the right direction. Give us hints about what we could di- offer differently in the podcast and the magazine. And it's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to to have your support. No, it's, it's our pleasure. And I work with the good guys. So if we meet up with someone and we can see that you're doing things the right way and you're nice people, and that's what's key for us. And no, we love it. It's all good. This is the this is the professional me now. You know there is another, yeah. another side. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting until the mics go off for that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you've had the, all your YouTubers here this weekend as well, meeting and greeting folk and chatting. Yeah, well, yeah, they've been here, but I haven't told them to meet and greet. They've been out detecting, enjoying themselves. I'm sure you'll see their videos from Discriminators Grim. We had it, yeah. So Stephen Peck and Grim, South Coast Detecting. UK um, Dirt Diggers UK. I'm going to miss someone. Discriminators. Feel, yeah, I said discriminators. I think. Yeah. Oh, there's going to be ones that I've missed, and I apologise. Well, if you, if you have missed, I'll apologise because <laughs> I feel exactly the same way. And uh, yeah, all, all our videos will be out and available on YouTube. And uh, we'll be speaking to you in the in the, in the interim, obviously, on the the podcast. I had lots of plans for little interviews this weekend with people as well, but they went awry. I think this is the uh, actually the seventh podcast I've done now. So, uh, Pete, a pleasure as always. Uh, keep up the good work. Keep giving out the good machines. Keep supporting the right people. I'll, I'll put it in, it was in there as well. <laughs> no, absolutely. It's our pleasure. And uh, good luck to the podcast and obviously the new podcast that's out now. It's already doing well from the figures I've seen. So now just keep going. Yes, it's uh, unbelievably well. We've just uh, let Dilek know as well. Last night's launch video that we produced for the uh, Archaeology and Metal Detecting Magazine Facebook page has nearly 10,000 views. So, uh, and 7,000 for the the mine lab one so the views are coming anyway uh, that, that's really good and when you've seen numbers like that obviously now with the world of youtube and you can see all these numbers just visualize ten thousand people out there listening to you waffle on for a few minutes it's a lot of people isn't it that many people have taken time out of their day to listen to what you're up to i, I think that's superb well i'm a i'm a i'm a liverpool fan but i'm also a chester fan and part owner of the club so i've spent my interim years growing up at chester uh, sorry where it's 2400 is is the general crowd yeah. so i can visualize 2400 people Ten yeah. thousand's a lot of people yeah no absolutely and, and that's why I try to say to my YouTubers as well that that many people are taking time out of their day to watch something that you've created and you've built and um, I, I think it's amazing I think it's really good now that with the technology that we've got it's, it's so different to what it used to be that anyone and, and this is for anyone if you're out there you've got a camera in your pocket pick it up record your day if that's what you want to do share it with your mates and have fun yep I totally agree I was going to say something else to you then, but I'm actually, it, it just went. It was dead, dead important. It's just gone. Absolutely gone. Pete, thank you again. It's a pleasure as always, and hope to hopefully speak to you soon. Yeah, I'll see you on another podcast. One, is it still Thursday nights? That it's Thursday, together? the All Metal Mode UK podcast, and hopefully we're looking at Sunday nights for the big podcast. I'm hoping Luke's going to put a bit more effort into actually speaking because he's done exceptionally well and he doesn't realise it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do you a deal. I won't come on another podcast or pay another advertising bill until we get Luke on a podcast. <laughs> Luke? Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's a deal. It's a deal. Yeah. There you go, it's a deal. <laughs> Thanks again, Pete, as ever. No worries. Have a nice sleep tonight. I'm going. Take care, my friend. <laughs> Cheers. Pete Terrell from Leisure Promotions. Uh, they obviously um, they have numerous machines. The, uh, they stock my labs, XPs, uh, the Rutus, the Macro Cruiser, uh, the Quest machine, and a uh, fantastic time with uh, with Pete over the last couple of days. Uh, wandering around a little bit more. Ah, there's one of a gentleman. I've actually been looking for him, and he's turned up. Uh, this is one of my uh, Polish friends from. Am, Hi, am I right in saying team of Yorkshire? Hi, hello, and my name is Matthews. And we basically, it's beautiful weather, we are every year over here, we're drinking like you see, we're partying, barbecuing and 
on at least on end metal detecting. <laughs> Do you know my friend? He's just standing over there in the distance, Marek. Yeah. He just doesn't seem himself this year. There's something missing. I'm not sure what nah, it is. No, he's happy. Look with him. Look on Actually, him. no. Yeah. I've, I've got to uh, change my mind. I know what was missing, and I've just yeah. seen it. The Polish homemade vodka. Oh yeah, beautiful. Tasty. I've, I've got to have to have a taste of the homemade vodka. You hold the microphone, and I'll taste that. That's the mixed. You never. It's Lithuanian uh, honey this with vodka mixed up. Beautiful. Delightful. And now this I'm getting something else. This mead. Mead. Oh, yeah. you know I like me mead. Yeah, it's very good. Look. Beautiful. You won't try. Uh, Beautiful yeah, mead. Yeah, it's uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Polish the mead. Yeah, Absolutely the weather phenomenal. this year is beautiful. The weather is beautiful this year. Yeah, that's nice, yeah. We're getting yeah, a little bit nice, of tan. Yeah, really nice. Our wife will be happy and a little bit. Have you found anything of consequence this week? Well, the, the full Croatian bell, quite a big one, beautiful. Uh, it's full one, and I found the Scottish one penny from 1944. Brilliant. A few yeah. musket balls and few uh, shrapnels, but nothing, nothing, nothing else. Well, I was just metal detecting maybe two, two and a half hours every day, and basically the rest was just eating, drinking, partying, you know. <laughs> now, next week there's a big event in Yorkshire, oh, yeah. team of Yorkshire, yeah. it's in Lincolnshire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was invited, I'm hopefully going to be able to get up for one day at least. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Well, we're doing the uh, big event in Lincolnshire, exactly in Lincoln, uh, for the scouts, Polish scouts, and uh, that will be like four years, four years on the road. Every every year we um, collecting money from uh, lottery for charity for the scouts, and basically we barbecuing over there, and we have like one and a half thousand acres of ground to walk. And uh, we found every year plenty of like Roman coins, fibula or medieval coins. It's very nice over there. Now, and obviously, I've, I've known uh, Marek and team of Yorkshire for, for at least three years now. Marek um, and the team supported ourselves when we were, we were doing some uh, rallies up in Rochdale. Yeah. And uh, I think the first thing he does every time he sees me is force alcohol on me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's delightful. I can't speak highly enough of uh, team of Yorkshire. Um, been, been an absolute pleasure to and, and Marek I'm, 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 I'm very happy to call a friend I don't see him as often as I would very happy to call him a friend I'm going to get a word off Marek or two Marek are you well? Yeah it's good I'm very well and, uh, I'm, I'm not in uh, no fines uh, today and tomorrow uh, but yesterday I am uh, no fines nothing it's okay well I've just spoke with Matthew and we've, we've discussed yeah, next week it's... event at, uh, in Lincoln as well Yes, yes. If, if you want, guys, uh, I welcome. No problem. Uh, in Lincoln, uh, I, I tell you, Dave. Yeah, yeah we told you we've yeah. been promoting it as much as we can. Yeah, if you want, Are there any, for, any, for, any... For, for, for one day, for um, two days, it's no problem. And, and obviously, for people who don't know of it up to now and would like to attend, are there any spaces available still? Um, mm, what did you say? <laughs> it's uh, full, 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 uh, uh, full, uh, full book. Right, so it's fully book. booked now, yeah. but this is a, year, a yearly year. You have about two a year of these events, am I right? Well, it's like, no, no, you have to book like half a year before to right. get in. in so, so I think there have been uh, 100 people, maybe a little more. Brilliant. Well, Marek took some of our magazines, which will be available for people on the day. Uh, good luck for the event. I do hope to come up. I can't promise anything because Mrs. Sadler might not let me. <laughs> but uh, a pleasure of always to see you both. And uh, good luck for the event next week. And uh, thank you for the mead. Yeah, well, you're, you're, welcome. you're welcome. You always can say your wife, you're going uh, doing golf and then coming and drink vodka with us, you know. She know I'd be lying, oh, I hate golf. Come on. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. I hope you have a good All weekend right. next good weekend. Time. Make loads of money. You want a little more? Hey, no, I'm going, to, I'm going to have to drive home soon, Marek. Oh, no. uh, thank right. you very much, Bo. Right. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it's Marek and um, Matt from Team of Yorkshire Metal Detecting Group, which are predominantly um, Eastern European, um, Polish. I know there's some Hungarians and Bulgarians in the team. And they do so much uh, for the history of the UK. Everything is done correctly. Everything goes through the little antiquity scheme. All the fines are recorded. They raise a hell of a lot of money for charity. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. Uh, they, they actually ran an event to celebrate the Battle of Britain. And um, obviously the amount of Polish people 
Polish airmen who were actually lost in the, the war and they raised a lot of money for charity of that as well so uh, if you are interested in uh, the team of Yorkshire obviously you can find them on Facebook and such like so uh, I think that's a wrap uh, lots of people packing up now so uh, I think we'll have to do the same ourselves soon I've got a long drive home ahead of me so thank you all to all the people who've uh, chatted with us this weekend in fact I just think I've spotted somebody else who I've been trying to get on I think it's no it's not unfortunately I was trying to get Alex Savage on all weekend who's uh, a metal detectorist from Newport in South Wales uh, but keep missing him he's a, he's a wonderful lad a uh, small story I had uh, my dad had a, a sea scope metal detector back in the 1970s which I've got a photograph of uh, unfortunately things occurred and somebody went away with my metal detector and obviously uh, quite upsetting years ago and Alex found out about the story uh, and yesterday brought me the exact metal detector as a, as a present and I, uh, I can honestly say I got quite emotional not only that I have to thank Seascope because uh, I took the machine over to, to say hey look what I've got I'm one of the engineers from the days that this Seascope in particular was, um, was made and manufactured took it off me oh I haven't seen one of them for years and years I said well it doesn't work it does now he took it into the back of the van he done lots of electrical clap trappery and lo and behold I have a now fully working 1970s metal detector I'm Dave Sadler uh, this is the big metal detecting podcast remember on a Thursday night all metal mode UK takes place and there'll be a new launch season of the global detection adventures with Lance Goolsby coming in the near future um www.archmbdmag.com is our website you can find us on YouTube you can find us on Spreaker uh, this show goes out on numerous things iTunes, Spotify etc uh, we've got Instagram, we've got Twitter uh, but mainly if you look on the Facebook page you'll find lots of things daily 30 posts at least a day ladies and gentlemen it's been a pleasure to be at Detectable uh, I'm now going to go and pack up the stall and rest my voice for a while thanks everyone <laughs>